Hello, everyone. Happy Canada Day. What a crowd. We're Canadian. We're not going to let a little weather slow us down, are we? You know, I'm pretty confident that we're breaking records here on Parliament Hill. And we should be, because today we're celebrating Canada 150. I'd like to acknowledge that we are on the ancestral lands of the Algonquin people. And I want to thank, I want to start with a thank you to the hundreds of thousands here on the Hill coming together in our nation's capital. Thank you for being here. And to the millions more in your homes across the country, maybe watching through the screen door while trying not to burn the hot dog buns on the barbecue, remember, lightly toasted, uh, or chilling with friends and neighbours in the local park, festooned in red and white, thank you for celebrating with us today. And to our expat friends and family gathered in far-off places like the Maple Leaf Pub in London or the Big Bite in Hong Kong, thanks for joining us. We love you and miss you right back. And I have no idea what time it is where you are, but cheers. I'd also, of course, like to thank the Royal Highnesses, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall for being with us today to mark this tremendous celebration. Merci, mes amis. A hundred and fifty years since Confederation. A nice round number that's as good a reason to celebrate as any to throw a massive party and invite the friends and neighbours, to reflect on our past, to cheer on today, and to recommit ourselves to the future. But let's not kid ourselves. Today isn't really our 150th birthday. We're much older than that. Canada and the idea of Canada goes much further back than just 150 years. For thousands of years, in this place, people have met, traded, built, loved, lost, fought, and grieved. They built strong communities. They worked hard to build better lives for their kids and learned to lean on their neighbours. You learn to lean on your neighbours in this place to get through the long, cold winter nights, to thrive in the daunting landscapes that stretch across Turtle Island. Et depuis plusieurs siècles déjà, des familles ont fait la grande traversée à la recherche d'un meilleur avenir pour leurs enfants, et ils ont choisi de bâtir leur vie ici. Et encore, l'appui des voisins et de ceux déjà ici ont rendu possible à la fois la réussite individuelle et des communautés fortes. Alors, certainement, le Canada est bien plus vieux que ses 150 ans, mais soyons honnêtes, le Canada est plus jeune aussi. Plusieurs vous diront que notre pays est seulement né Il y a 100 ans exactement, lorsque des Canadiens venus de quatre coins du pays se sont unis pour la première fois, lorsqu'ils sont, se sont battus côte à côte, lorsqu'ils ont pleuré la perte de leur, des leurs ensemble et célébré la victoire ensemble dans un endroit lointain qui s'appelle Vimy. La bravoure dont nous avons fait preuve ce jour-là, résonnerait à Dieppe, à Juneau, à Kandahar et j'en passe. But we took our place on the world stage too through constructive engagement, from this crisis in the Suez to the floor of the UN, by welcoming the world to come see who we are as we figured out for ourselves with Expos 67 and 86 
with Olympic Games in Montreal, in Calgary, in Vancouver. But if we're going to talk sports, maybe we became a nation with the Summit Series in 72, when we all squeezed the stick and we all pulled the trigger. Or was it in 65, when we chose our beloved Maple Leaf flag? Maybe it didn't really happen, us becoming a nation, until we brought home the Constitution and defined ourselves through the Charter of Rights and Freedoms a mere 35 years ago. So really, I guess 150 years is as good a date as any, because it lets us celebrate all of that and so much more today. En 1867, on a vu la Confédération canadienne devenir une réalité grâce au compromis et à la vision, entre autres, de John A. Macdonald et de George Étienne Cartier. Ce fut un partenariat entre quatre provinces qui est devenu quelque chose de beaucoup plus grand, un pays extraordinaire, prospère et généreux, une terre où tout est possible. Canada has been blessed with leaders of all stripes who recognized how special this place is. Leaders who believed in the Canadian dream, who built railways and highways and seaways to connect us to each other and to the world. These projects became the backbone of Canada, infrastructure worthy of a great nation. But the story of Canada cannot be confined to grand acts of nation-building. The story of Canada is really the story of ordinary people doing extraordinary things. The valor of Francis Pegamogabo, the courage of Viola Desmond, the leadership of Thérèse Casgrain, the tenacity of Terry Fox. It's in these people that the true story of Canada is told. Their triumphs are unique, but the values that underpin them are Canadian values. William Lyon Mackenzie King a dit que la citoyenneté était en fait une forme de service public. Il avait raison. Avoir la citoyenneté canadienne, ça veut aussi dire servir le Canada. Ça veut dire croire en quelque chose de plus grand que chacun d'entre nous. Parce que nous avons de quoi être reconnaissants envers ce pays qui nous a tant donné. Des millions de gens venus de partout dans le monde ont choisi de vivre au Canada. D'autres ont eu la chance d'être nés ici. Mais nos histoires se ressemblent. C'est ici que nous avons rencontré nos amis d'enfance, ici que nous sommes tombés amoureux pour la première fois, ici que nous avons élevé nos enfants, Mes amis, on se rejoint par le plus beau cadeau qu'on n'a jamais reçu, la citoyenneté canadienne. Louis Saint Laurent referred to Canada as a place where people joined their talents without merging their identities. And it's true. Canada is a country made strong, not in spite of our differences, but because of them. We don't aspire to be a melting pot. Indeed, we know true strength and resilience flows through Canadian diversity. Ours is a land of original peoples and of newcomers. And our greatest pride is that you can come, come here from anywhere in the world, build a good life, and be part of our community. 
We don't care where you're from or what religion you practice or whom you love. You are all welcome in Canada. Mais n'oublions pas que si aujourd'hui le Canada est un endroit véritablement multiculturel et ouvert sur le monde, ce n'est pas le fruit du hasard. Il y a 150 ans, l'existence même de notre pays dépendait de notre capacité à accepter que les citoyens d'un même pays pouvaient parler différentes langues, qu'ils pouvaient être issus de différentes cultures. Elle dépendait de la coexistence pacifique et active entre des personnes différentes les unes des autres. Au fil du temps, le caractère bilingue de notre pays est devenu un élément central et définitif de notre identité et d'une politique officielle. D'un bout à l'autre du pays, on parle français et anglais, en plus de centaines d'autres langues. And so, diversity has always been at the very core of Canada over the centuries. It's the foundation upon which our country was built. We may be of every color and creed from every corner of the world. We may live in British Columbia, Yukon, the Northwest Territories, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Nunavut, Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, or Newfoundland and Labrador. But we embrace that diversity while knowing in our hearts that we are all Canadians. And that we share a common pride in that red and white flag. Mais lorsqu'on revient sur notre histoire, on constate que notre passé est loin d'être parfait. Si beaucoup d'entre nous célèbrent le 150e du Canada, ce n'est pas le cas pour tout le monde. Pendant les siècles, Les peuples autochtones ont été victimes d'oppression à partir du moment où les premiers explorateurs se félicitaient de découvrir un nouveau monde. Et en tant que société, nous devons donc reconnaître les erreurs du passé, accepter nos responsabilités et faire en sorte que chaque Canadien ait un avenir prometteur. Nous avons beaucoup de travail devant nous pour nous réconcilier avec les Premières Nations, la Nation Métis, les Inuits, mais nous avons amorché cette démarche ensemble. En tant que pays, nous avons pris l'engagement de faire de la relation de nation à nation, de gouvernement à gouvernement, d'Inuit à la Couronne, une priorité de la plus haute importance. This is what we have to remember. We can achieve reconciliation, but in order to get there, we must educate ourselves and dedicate our efforts to progress and work very, very hard to see it through over the coming years and decades. It is a choice we make, not because of what we did or what we were, but because of who we are. Let us be known the world over for our integrity, for our compassion, and for our never-ending desire to be better so we can do better. That's the Canadian way, whether it was building a railway through the Rockies or a quantum computer, Canadians know that better is always possible. 
La réussite du Canada n'est pas le fruit du hasard et elle ne continuera pas sans effort. Notre travail consiste maintenant à faire en sorte que chaque Canadien ait une chance réelle et égale de réussir. Nous devons créer un environnement dans lequel la classe moyenne et ceux qui travaillent fort pour en faire partie puissent se bâtir une vie meilleure. And we have to work together to combat climate change, one of the greatest crises facing our planet. It's up to us to leave our kids and grandkids with a better future through a present in which protecting our environment is an obligation, not an option. And we can do it. I know we can. My friends, many of you have come here from great distances. So take a second, look around, and really take in this moment. You are all a part of history. A hundred and fifty years? Nah. Look at us. Canada is being born today. And thanks to all of you, it will be again tomorrow. You know, when we set out in the world, many of us do so with a maple leaf sewn onto our backpacks. But all of us have that maple leaf engraved onto our souls. It's a subtle, quiet pride in knowing that we are blessed to be citizens of the best country on earth. So be proud of our accomplishments. Be proud of our country. For this is Canada and this is home.